Lisa Hanawalt wrote a book touted as the book that will get you through the off season of BoJack Horseman because she's like an executive producer, maybe. I probably shouldn't give her title she doesn't have, but she draws like I think the sets for all the rooms. I don't know if she draws the characters too, but she's an amazing illustrator and a very funny human being. This is the book, Hot Dog Taste Test. Tim made me this amazing watermelon margarita. It's super good. I've obviously been drinking it. Look at my eyes, they're half closed. I look like a Muppet. He used a real watermelon too. Like I don't, I'm not into that game. I don't, I don't like, I don't like cutting up real watermelons because it like just gives me a level of anxiety of like if I mess it up, everyone will know. Like there's no way you can like cut a watermelon wrong and people are like, oh, it's okay. Like you just look like an idiot. Some of the reviews for hot dog taste tests, these are all good because they're on the book. Amy Sedaris or Sedaris, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but I know she's on a show on Netflix, says, frankly speaking, you should get off your buns and go buy this book, you'll relish it. I get it, because relish and hot dogs. <laughs> It's a hot dog taste test. Oh man, Amy, come on. Tavi Gevinson says, we're so lucky to get these peeks into Lisa Hannah Walt's brain and stomach. The amount of joy in her gleefully pervy illustrations makes me happier to be alive. I aspire to the level of enthusiasm she seems to derive from examining how stupid it is to be a person. It's just true. I felt like being a person was so stupid as I read this book and I loved it. Everybody sucks. This book is a... It's my cell phone. I forgot that I was going to use it for part of this. So I guess we'll get to the cell phone part. Okay, so the cell phone part of this was I had to look up to see if this was her first book. It's not. She has three other books, Farts Around the World. <laughs> and there's one called Benny's Brigade, which I can't tell if it's a children's book or not. And I feel like I'm going to be let down if it is. And then a book called My Dirty Dumb Eyes, which I bought immediately after reading this one, which is her latest from 2016, Hot Dog Taste Test. So the book is a book of essays, which I love because mine is super overdue at this point. Pretty sure that my publisher is going to like come knocking at my door for that money back at some point. I don't have it. So <laughs> we're all just figuring it out. I'm trying to finish it up in the next month. So I've been reading a lot of them. Hers is super interesting though because she draws a lot of her essays and it's like more interesting that way. I, I guess I'll go to some of my favorite parts of the book. Ah, uh, yeah, so there's, she talks about being from Argentina or her mother grew up there, I think. <laughs> I probably could have remembered that. But anyway, there's a part about her flying to Argentina and it's so great. I'm so bad at traveling and it takes like 20 hours to get there. I'm hyper vigilant. I need to prevent bad things from happening. Keeping the plane from crashing is my job. I should just be farting and watching a movie. I don't know why flying got so scary in my late 20s. It used to be no big deal. And then the plane that she drew that has boobs says, flying is safer than driving. And she says, I know, I'm afraid of cars too. I want to scream or lie down in the aisle. And there's just a picture of her leg face down in the aisle going, ah. <laughs> And then the only thing that makes me feel okay during turbulence is kissing, which is great. I get to so many emotions and so absurd. And I think it's the funniest thing I've ever read. I actually read this book on a plane from LA to New York. The redhead from Scandal was also like in my row. <laughs> and so I had to keep uh, moving for her to use the bathroom. But I kept laughing out loud and I think she thought there's something wrong with me because I'm a, like a grown ass woman looking at like, these beautiful paintings. And if you're not reading it, it's like, why are you laughing at a picture book? There's also another part that I thought was just like A plus forever. She talks about being a freelancer in New York and how she had to draw for different brands. And so these are just like her outtakes for coming up with new slogans for brands. And I think it's, I mean, just listen, you don't have to take my word for it. We've got photos of, she drew KFC and it says brown rainbows of food. <laughs> KFC chickeniness. <laughs> United, fly the friendly skies, escape the cruel ground. United, dump bus with wings, which I feel like after they dragged that guy off the plane is the most accurate description. Dump bus with wings. The best one, oh God, she did one for McDonald's and I literally quote it every day and I hate myself. It's got the M and it says, I love something. Is it this? 
You have to read this book. I wish that I had like some real critiques, but the only real character in the book is her. She's talking about her own life. She does go on a few different like excursions at five star restaurants and sort of shadows the head chef for a day, which is really interesting because she clearly is not super well versed in what the food's called. Like she went to an Italian restaurant. She draws the pasta, but she doesn't know what it's called. So that's pretty wonderful. But it's really like beyond just food stuff. She talks about all kinds of stuff. I like this book a lot. I highly recommend it. If you happen to be home alone because the person you were gonna go out with on Tinder is actually terrible and like calls you to ask if the reason why you can't meet them on a different date is because that you just don't wanna see them so they're like super insecure and like crazy, then you could just stay home and drink a drink and read this book and it'll be like, oh, I enjoy my own company. I highly recommend because that's my life every day, it seems like. The drawings are just amazing. Like if you like, <laughs> if you like Bojack Horseman, I mean, it's A plus, like just amazing. So many animals wearing clothes and like animals with boobs and like walking around. I love it. I think it's so weird, <laughs> I love it. 10 out of 10, this is probably my favorite book that I've read in like five years. I would highly recommend it. And we're back, y'all. We're drinking for Tipsy Book Review. Take my word for it. Subscribe. Let's go get some oysters. Hey,